Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. I'm going to give you a short demo to show you how to copy information from certain fields only in a Smartsheet through to a new sheet. Now Smartsheet has an amazing capability where it can copy whole rows or move whole rows from a sheet into another sheet. However, there are times when you only want certain information to be brought across. For example, if you have a sheet which has got lots of columns or you've got sensitive information in some of those columns. To be able to do this, you need to use Data Shuttle, which is a premium add-on app from Smartsheet. And this really enables you to deliver a solution with the confidentiality and the security that you want. So let's dive in. So in this scenario, with a property company, we have a list of properties that are currently being worked on for upgrade works. And we can see that there's multiple columns here with all the various cleaning, furniture, building works, etc., which goes across lots of information and you don't want all that being copied across into other sheets. You also don't necessarily want all the various other contractors to see the dates and the information that's in this master sheet. So in this scenario, I've got my properties. I've got two which are pending move out. So we know they moved out on the 23rd. And so the imagery clerk is going to go in on the 24th. So I'm going to add in that date 24th, the 8th. And for the other property, you can see now it's automatically updated the status to be vacated and the cleaning is missing as is the furniture removal and all the various information on the other sheets is missing. If we also go to the property sheet, we know that the properties for Madrid 10, 11 and 12 mansions, they also moved out. So I'm going to copy that information here. And again, this information could come from your CRM or could be managed just directly in the smart sheet. If we go back to the master tracker, I'm going to also add in these properties as well. So I'm going to paste them in here and you'll see it's pulled that information through automatically. This is again using a index match capability and it pulls the information from master tracker sheets here and it says pending move out. We know that the inventory clerk is going to go and inspect those properties on the same day. So we can see all this information is missing. So how do we get that information into the other trackers? So if we just go to the cleaning tracker, you can see these properties aren't in there at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the this tracker here and this is where we need to go into dynamic view or rather let me say data shuttle um, in order to make this work so let's go across to data shuttle so in data shuttle i've got a list of all my upload and offload workflows so in this case i'm going to be offloading information it's about properties that have moved out the upgrade works so let's dive in and have a look at this version here so if I go into the workflow, it tells me it's pulling information from the master tracker and it's replacing rows in the sheet. I've asked it to save it to a smart sheet. It can save it to OneDrive or Google Drive. In this case, I'm asking it to save it to the smart sheet. I've given it a name and I've said I want to download in Excel, but this can also be in a CSV format. And it's adding the headers to the destination file. I've asked it to, to apply certain logic. So I'm saying if the work status is vacated and in the initial clean column, that equals missing. So if that's, those are true, it will download it. And then here, I've asked it to map the various information. So the property reference goes to the property reference in the various sheets. At the moment, I've got it running every day of the week and every 15 minutes. This can be once a day or whatever time you choose to schedule it when appropriate. I've given it a name and I'm going to publish it. Now, this is currently set as scheduled. It last ran at 15.33, so three minutes, 44 seconds ago. What I need to do is get it to run again because otherwise the information won't be pulled across. So I'm going to manually get it to run and it says refresh to see the results. So let's see if that's worked as yet. It still hasn't updated four minutes ago. So at the moment, I just need to go back and get it to run again.
less than a second ago, it's just run. So I was being impatient in asking, asking it to go. So let's go back to this sheet here. At the moment it still says the information is missing. Let us run this. Ooh, and we can see it in real time that has now moved it into the other sheet. And you can see all that information has disappeared because that flow has run. So again, how's that happening? It's because it's downloaded into this sheet here. And then I've got an upload workflow, which in the same way is telling it to upload it into the various sheets, the initial clean, furniture removal, installation, cleaning, and the building works sheets. So when it's downloaded, it then uploads into there. Just to go and have a, a look at that sheet. So what I've got is I've got a special sheet set in my list of properties. And here it is, the sheet and all the sheet serves as is a repository for that information to be downloaded to. So you can see it's downloaded into here. It's an Excel file. The setting in Data Shuttle is that to upload, as soon as a property, wrong, well, as soon as a file is attached, it will automatically run. So it knows to run whenever there's new data inserted. That's how it ran automatically. We now, if we go back to the sheet, all the information is in the various trackers. So we now know they run. If I go back to the initial clean tracker, I'm going to refresh this sheet here. And it's pulling the information across from the property sheet. It knows all the information. It knows when the clean's required. If I go back to the furniture team here, same at the moment it says no match. I just need to refresh this information and it's going to reload the site. And you can see it's pulled the information and it's got their dates there. So again, slightly more complicated, but that is a demo to show you how you can use Data Shuttle to copy information from certain cells only into other sheets. I hope this has been useful. If you want any more information on this, then please get in touch. My name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Thank you.